Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again and we are gonna go and do a run as. Who should I do a run as? I'm not actually entirely sure at this point. I don't run Tainted Bethany in a little while. Could do Tainted Bethany to Mother. That's always a good bit of fun. Um, still need to do a bit more Tainted Lazarus, of course. Um, Tainted Eve. Honestly... Tainted Eve, I might just never, ever play again. <laughs> she honestly just doesn't work on modded runs. She's so laggy that I don't even think she's, like, worth playing. Um, but we'll get around to her eventually. I'm going to do Tainted Samson, I think. Um, what we got to do is a Mother Push. Probably try and do Mother of a Beast here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm more leaning towards Mother right now, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm not sure what the Isaac Champions version of this guy does, but we'll take a look. I'm not saying that we're going to use it here, but it grants 11 broken hearts um, and adds the collectible pocket converter, champion belt and astral projection, birthright, goat head, wafer, oh my lord, glyph of balance. What the hell is this guy? <laughs> Smelted trinkets, purple heart, doorstop. What is... This guy sounds crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I do have um, the Trinkets mod on that I was mentioning previously, um, as you can see, and that means that we start with um, we start with the Swallowed M80 and the Red Patch, which basically means that taking damage is even more advantageous as this guy, which makes a lot of sense. I think these are very thematic, very fitting. Um, Swallowed M80 is kind of an interesting one. I like the fact that it's not always just smelted. It is some, some that you just start with. So later in the run, you are going to have to make a decision uh, based on if you want to like keep that or not sort of thing. I think that's a, a good way of um, balancing around some of the trinkets that you get. Okay, I'm not going to... Oh, I was just about to say I'm not going to be able to extend it again, am I? But I got very lucky there, apparently. Okay, just keep on, keep on swimming, keep on moving on by. Okay, we got quite a lot out of that, I've got to say. I've got to say, we got quite a lot out of that. There you go. As for today's question of the day, what's the next thing that you're excited for? I've asked this question before, but this is something that I feel can change so often in people's lives that it could be something completely different than what you answered last time. Or you might not have been here for that last video, so... Worth asking again, I think. Um, but as I've probably um, made aware over the past few episodes... Sorry, I've just eaten a bit of food, so I was burping a little bit there. I apologise. I'm gross, I know. Um, but, ooh, con um, communion is actually pretty useful. Uh, basically, as, as it says, it allows us to revert the uh, trajectories of projectiles and they'll be homing. Uh, we'll also transform troll bombs into bobby bombs okay okay kind of interesting cool okay not bad not bad not bad um what's the card that we got going on in here oh it's one of these battery ones okay no worries um not really any reason to come in here but oh well and we're trying to do mothers so will go down that way um but yeah uh as as we have you guys have probably picked up on the past few episodes. I'm getting a new PC, and I just... Uh, I'm getting it sort of through work, and they're paying for some of it for me. Um, and it's just been processed yesterday, so it should be ordered very, very shortly. Um, okay, this isn't a really good room for this. Okay, it's okay. okay try and get as much out of this as we possibly can. Damn it. Missed out a little bit there. Um, but yeah, so the work has sort of started that order uh, ready to be processed to be purchased. I think it's like Monday it's going to get purchased and it's like Friday now. So it's only a few more days and I should have it like early um, the week after. And oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I haven't had a new PC in like, I think I think this PC is about four and a half years old now. Um, and it wasn't even like top of the line when I bought it. It was like sort of the lower end of mid-spec. Um, it's, it's not a, it's not a super good PC. It's, it's, it's been fine. Like, it's done me a pretty good job and it's lasted me up until now. But I've had a lot of, um, like, PC faults with it, with it, like, crashing and stuff like that. But also, it, it's just getting to the point with, where when I'm playing newer games, it's, it's struggling. Um, like, I, I play a lot of, uh, Warzone, as you, as a lot of you probably already know. And obviously, Warzone's not a new game. But, I will say, 
over the past like little while, over the past few months, the performance on that game has just been getting worse and worse and worse. Like, I don't know what's been going on with it, but yeah, it's just been getting progressively worse. Okay, do we want to keep Swallowed M80, or do we want to keep the stat up? I think right now the stat up's definitely more my style. And we'll take the random item. Ah, oh, they're both actives. This is tricky, because Flush is also pretty goddamn good. I think Communion is better, overall. That's a hard choice, that is. Annoying to get so many actives, but such is this game sometimes. There's nothing much you can do about it. Nothing much we can do, but we did get some good keys. We got bombs ready for the next floor as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure on secret room this floor, but I'm not that bothered anyways with the amount of bombs we currently have. I'd rather keep a nice stock of those for later. Can't do anything with that. Unfortunately, a lot of enemies and bosses that don't really fire much tears here, so... Communion's not been all that useful, but we can do it, use it a little bit here. Good, good. We get ourselves the stapler. Honestly, Devil Deal is looking pretty, uh, pretty nice to me right now. We'll take Pinhead. Um, and to come close, you become crippled. Your tears can also cripple enemies. Yeah, we'll take that as well. I like the idea of that. We have some interesting stuff going on now, and we just keep on moving down. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Uh, I guess I don't do, like, hard on the Devil Deal runs that often, and so, considering we've got Communion here, which is gonna allow us to get those Herming tiers on enemies, it's pretty, pretty nice, and then obviously Pin Shot is just good for pseudo-piercing. It's not real piercing, not every tier pierces, but some of them do, um, and the, the actual pin effect itself is pretty useful, especially on certain, uh, bosses that are, like, multi-segment. I like it. Good stuff. Yeah, you can see it's doing pretty well. Sun Bond, another just absolutely marvellous trinket. Let's try and get some bonus damage on this guy now. Wow, that was, yeah, that was good. That was good stuff. Uh, heart container, get a soul heart at the start of every floor. That's really nice. Um, that's, this is really good with Goat Head, actually, so we'll definitely take Goat Head. Heart container at the start of, uh, sorry, soul heart at the start of every floor, just, yeah, gonna work really well for us. We've got an extra bomb here, so I'll use that in the secret room. Not a great secret room, granted, but not terrible either. We can sometimes get half soul hearts out of those, so that's worth it. We've not seen the item room this floor either. And also, the shop is pretty viable right now as well. Uh, what was going on with this room exactly? Do I have to use a bomb to get through there? Oh no, of course I'll be able to fly over that, you idiot. I was like, how does that work? Well, yeah, that's fine. God, these enemies are so annoying. Right, red heart there, that's fine. Some herming shots going. Frail fly, no thank you. Oh, yes, baby. This is going good. This is going good. I'm liking... I'm liking non-stop active items. It's just the, the best way for this game to go. Bell Clapper's pretty good. I'll take Bell Clapper. And we'll go and step, step, step on our fire. Which is right here, right? Yep. Quickly press this. Here. Good, good, good. Nice, easy, quick boss kill. Don't forget about these fellas. Oh, some extra pennies for me as well. Thank you. Unfortunately, Tropica Mire doesn't really do much for us, but it's something, I guess. And don't remember where item room was here. Kind of interesting that it does that. Turning troll bombs into bobby bombs. Obviously, in combat... Most times, that's not going to be all that useful, but... What kind of good to know exists? Okay. Like I said, I don't really know where I'm going here, so... Probably going to be a little bit of scouting around before I actually find the item room. It's at the end of here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 
Right. I can't fucking hit him with this. This is bullshit. There you go. That was rather annoying. I could throw it, I guess, but whoever throws the, the berm with that dude? Never. Never once. Right. Got our knife piece at least. We're good to go. Good to go. Right, do you remember where I'm going? This way. And then up here. And yeah, certain bond I really would like to take if I had a familiar right now. But because I do have some tier effects that would work nicely with it, but it's just not, yeah, not worth right now. Nice. Go down this way. Don't get a curse this floor, so we are gonna get some minus to our stats, but it's not terrible. I think Secret Room is below me there, but I'm going to leave it for now. Managed to negate that bomb there. Got double key here. Could be a five room. Rerolls all pickups in the room. Is <laughs> Really? Reroll a penny into a key. That's got to be the most worthless one of those rooms I've ever seen. There's another key there. We'll try and remember that. Oh, that was... A very, very bad hit. I just went in all guns blazing and kind of went straight into that. No more active items, please. Okay, that's good. Although the pepper probably would have been a bit better. Ooh, it's a room that I can uh, see myself working with. Dude, two keys for Isaac's fork. Now that is not a good deal. Okay, right now having a little bit of a rough time. In fact, this room could easily kill me. Didn't like that enemy. Okay, that was a bit scary, and I've put my health in a pretty bad spot right now. Yeah, the swinging is not helping right now. Also, this room is... Not one that I would like to be in often. Okay. Quickly scoot in here. I'm gonna say, hoping for a soul heart, we get one nice. Okay, they don't count as tears, apparently. You two gotta go. Apparently you didn't die there. Oh, bollocks. Okay, this is by far the hardest boss. I, I don't think I've ever been able to do this guy without getting hit. I've already been hit twice. I find this... Yeah, I'm dead. I find this guy immensely difficult. I just don't really get him. Okay, I, I managed to get away without dying, at least. Don't think the devil deal is going to be all that much use to us. I guess I could come in here and glass d6 whatever we're getting. The off chance it gives me something that can allow me to survive. Bad times. Yeah, that was that was a little unfortunate. Unfortunately, Clutch is just, yeah, he's a boss that I, my brain simply cannot understand how to beat him without getting hit. I get hit by him. All the time. It doesn't help that he's a boss that I just, like, don't really get to fight very often. Just a boss that I, yeah, don't really get much opportunity to learn. But just, he's also just a really difficult boss. I'm hoping this floor we can build up some more soul heart health. Because, yeah, it's not really great right now. Not really great right now. Okay, refilled that nicely. Don't... Don't fly! This is bullshit! This is just, just flies away from me. Don't do that. What a waste of my time. We had to get Ash Pit, didn't we? Don't be another active. God damn. Okay, Roid Ridge is fine. Other one was another active. 
I say I'm, I'm one off spun, so I don't mind Roid Rage at all. Do not in any way, shape, or form agree with these little monsters. You get the hell away from him. Oh, dude, I'm actually kind of sick of um, the whole throwing wacky burn thing with this character. We've got a build that really leans itself to being a bit of a distance right now, and every time it gives me this back, I'm kind of like a bit bummed out. Okay. Shop is here again. Oh, I got hit again. Come on now. Diplopia? Okay, Diplopia is something I will definitely take. Given a penny. There you go. I'm sorry, Communion, but you've just been a bit trash for me recently. And Diplopia can allow me to steal this next devil deal no matter what is uh, what's cooking in there. So as long as I can make it there alive, obviously, which... Right now, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not super, super confident on. I think this guy's kind of crazy. Ooh, hello. Good old Soul of Cain. I mean, that reveals to us that Secret Room's right here, right? That it does. Um, how exactly am I meant to kill you? I don't think I am, am I? Oh, hello. I've never, ever seen that before. Burn heart, morbid heart, gold heart, eternal heart. Okay. I can get down with that right now. I can get down with that. That was rather nice. Now, I have absolutely no idea what would be best to use our soul of Cain. That's, that's something that is not, not something I have any info on how to... Sort of solve. Can you stop, my good sir? There you go. Obviously, we need a room where it's going to be as advantageous as possible. But never as easy as it seems. I mean, we'll keep traipsing around and see if we can find anywhere. we got one room, two room. We get two rooms in here if we do it in here. We get one room in here. One, two, three. We get at least three rooms in here, so I guess this is the room that we're going for. Yeah, these are these are hard enemies right here. A, hey. I had a feeling. Had a feeling we're on to a winner with that one. And in here we get Cube of Me. Oh, I I genuinely don't know if there's a more depressing sight than getting Cube of Me out of a. Oh, that is despicable. Honestly, <laughs> that's evil. Cube of Meat's just absolutely worthless. I had someone say in the comments recently as well, though, I said about Cube of Meat being worthless, and they were like, oh, but it can block shots. It's actually, like, if you if you look at how many shots it blocks over the course of a run, it's, it barely matters. And the main reason I say it sucks is because it used to be so good until, um, and, until like, as an actual orbital for dealing damage, until uh, Repentance, where they nerfed all the orbitals, tick rates, and it became just so much worse. My guy. Don't don't you dab explode on me again. There's an unholy amount of poison, my guy. Can't even shoot through these rocks. Okay, got him eventually. We got ourselves latchkey as well. 
Now, are we going to use Diplopia here or elsewhere? We'll see. Um, I don't think having two of any of these does anything for us, but I would like to have both, so I'm just going to steal both. More of the Void especially is pretty good here. Also, I kind of needed the HP for this. I kind of forgot about that. It's a, it's a good job we didn't. Right. Keep going. Very, very not confident in our current uh, current situation, but... Hey, her. More of the Void gives me some confidence, to be honest. More of the Void is just absolutely incredible for dealing damage. I still can't believe there's anyone out there, and the, 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 the fact is, there is. I still can't believe there's anyone out there that, that like, feels that the um, more of the Void nerfs were unjustified. There's some people that are like, no, I need to unnerf it. The nerfs were just too too much. It's like, mate, it's like a god-tier item, and it used to produce black hearts. It's just so silly. Like, it was so overtuned before. I mean, it's fine to have overpowered items. I get it's a single-player game, but you can't blame them for balancing an item like this. They just wanted to make it so health was less available. Um, because in Afterbirth Plus, health was just, like, more, more plausible in every way. So they've added some limits onto certain things to make health not as available. It's like what they did to, um, what they did to the Satanic Bible. I actually really like that as a change. They made it, 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 it used to just give you a black heart on use. It never used to change, um, your boss items into devil deals. And you may be thinking, no, that's just a buff, isn't it? Well, technically it is. Uh, but also it's not, because it, it limits your amount of boss items, and boss items are where you get your main health and stats from, so you get less health and stats. Uh, and it also gives you more of a reason, oh, come on now. It gives you more of a reason to, um, to spend HP, so you're actually going to be lower on HP overall. It's, it's a really good way of, uh, of balancing an item like that out. They did some very, very good changes with Repentance. I still can't believe some people don't think are okay. Oh, look at that. That's nuts. Bit of Midas touch in there. Why not? I basically no longer use tears anymore. Apart from in situations. That's so cool. That's a really cool room. Oh my god, it hit me both times. I, I, more props to him. That was a very cool room design. We've seen that item room everything here. This floor's a bit of a bust. Oh, dude, I didn't realize you did that. Okay. Deaded. Binky's nice. We'll take whatever this is. Damocles. Okay. Why not? <sighs> Wasn't expecting Damocles here, but I'll take it. I will certainly take it. It's definitely too late into the run for Damocles to be worthwhile, like, 100%. But I'm not going to pay for it and not use it, I'll tell you that for sure. I will tell you that for sure. Wow. I mean, Lard, honestly, I'll take because we're at really good speed anyways. And 10 times bombs is just fine. Well, this is good. Uh, is it good, though? Jacob's Ladder's amazing, but I don't know if there's any way I can actually get it. Hmm. How am I meant to get it? <laughs> Without bombing myself. I guess I'll try and look for flight. That's a bit annoying. Jacob's Ladder's really good as well. I mean, time itself is also really good here.
You chill out with, with that business. Temperance, that's not flight. Clearly asked for flight. Come on, game, you know you want to give it to me. Bomb. Bomb. More options, why not? We've already seen the thingy room, so I don't even know why I'm bombing that. Calm down you. I think I took the key by accident there, my bad. Okay. Tech modules, really fun. I'll take that. And then Bloody Gust. Yeah, I guess I'll take that too. Degas. Yes. Okay, keep moving. I like this tech item a lot. It's good fun. Golden bombs, nice. Nice, we got Bacana, which likes the game really hard for some reason. And then I guess I'll play you for a bit. Actually, no, to be fair, no, I won't because, um, pop our hands, I said, okay. Because I've got money equals power, haven't I? I kind of forgot about that. Quickly go back this way because I just realized I've not been into my cash room, which is attached to the thingy room. And if there's an item in there, I'll be sad. I'm curious if I can bomb myself into that Jacob's Ladder, but I just don't know if I can. Full heart, noise. That's a lover's card again, not flight. Sadly, nothing in here for us either. Last room over here to check. Okay. Oh, where we go. Not particularly happy with the situation with uh, good old Jacob's Ladder, but what else can I do? There's probably a way I can get it, but not without activating Damocles. Good. Two bombs or a chest with two bombs in it. What a choice. We got breakfast. Um, take the negative here. Take this. This. Um, that. And that. I'm not really looking at what my spin downs are, to be honest. That spins down to Godhead, so that's pretty good. Yeah, let's spin down this room. Uh, spin down. That's not Godhead. 
I thought spin down didn't need to have the items unlocked to work. Okay, with soy milk, this is, uh, and the, this has gotten a little bit laggy very suddenly. Do you know what? Let me, let me rewind this room and try, try again, shall we? So come in here. Okay, there's nothing in here. That's fine. Wait, what? Where's my boss rush gone? Excuse me? Where's my boss rush gone? <laughs> It was right there. I'm still at 24 minutes. Rewind again. What the fuck? Um, give Mama Mega? It was a golden Mama Mega. Oops, right. Back in here, right. Why are things not Damocleased? I don't know. I'm still going to take soy milk. Just not with that thingy item. Okay, I don't know if this is the right choice or not. It's kind of made more of the void pretty pointless, I think. Okay, this has gone all sorts of pear shapes. I don't think I agree with this at all. I'm curious as to why my items disappeared. What was all that about? My Damocles has stopped working. This is hell. Why did I why did I try to decide to take soy milk? I thought this would be good. It's trash. I especially don't like the uh the mega smacks that we're go get getting going on here. I thought this would slap, but yes. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's doing okay, but it's not as good as I thought it would be. Really, I'm not a big fan of this, whenever this happens as well. Like a good old chub doing his thing. Maybe. Chub in large rooms like this doesn't really work when he just yeets himself across the entire goddamn room. Can you get to a position where I can kill you, please? Thank you. Oh, don't jump again, dude. This is just getting silly. Why? Why do you like to be deactive for so long, so much of the fight? There you go. That attack pattern's interesting, but in large rooms it doesn't really work. Oh god, that's not what I expect him to do at all. This is going to be a very, very long boss rush. I have made severe mistakes. I thought I'd be doing way more damage with soy milk than this. Like I said, it's not terrible, it's just not good. I think Pinhead is the only thing that's really saving us here. When we pin the enemies together, that seems to really increase the damage output. Really wish we could just never do this. I just want to shoot. Are you, you're the one that didn't die? Okay, that was surprising. I'm liking the lasers. The lasers are nice. Yeah, 
Okay, good. That was a very quick kill on you. Like I said, sometimes the kills are crazy quick. I don't know if I'm a big fan of what they've done with Gish. He's a bit of a strange one now. I still need to like work out what his attack patterns are, really, to get a grasp on uh, on what I think of Gish. Yeah, I, I didn't really think about the fact that by doing taking soy milk, I was ruining more of the void. More of the void does damage based on your damage, so doesn't do a hell of a lot now. Spider boy. Oh, I finally got hit. That's not good. Damocles is in effect now. Having you feared was not the answer. Getting hit by you again, certainly not the answer. Oh my god, this is shockingly bad. How, how do I keep killing the other enemy quicker than the original one I'm fighting? Must have much less health or something. Ooh, he died fast. Oh, we've got this weird version of Steven now as well. This is another thing that I'm still very confused about. Sometimes he doesn't die. Okay, this time he did. Other time he just decided he didn't want to. Where are you, fra where are you at, Frail? Frail's multi-segment, so a pin shot should just annihilate him. Beautiful. Oh, bugger. Goddamn bat boy. Okay, we've got to be nearly done now. A few more waves, I reckon. Okay, I wasn't quite ready for that. Nice. Hey, there you go. Epigy and Keeper's annoying fly, buzz buzz. I kind of forgot I had that. It is very satisfying when you have soy milk plus the whacking thing, but the, the donkey burn, but not the best. Okay. All sorted here. Down to the next floor. Health is not looking very good at all. I'm just going to lie and pretend we're in a good spot. Really? You could have given me four items, but instead this. That was very tragic. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to see how this goes for room clearing. Doesn't seem good so far for room clearing. It's pretty meh. Nice effigies. Nice effigies. Nice effigies. Okay, 15% chance three times in a row is pretty unlikely. That was pretty weird. Wow. Another 15% chance. This is getting a bit spooky now. Oh, that hit me? God damn it. Was very much hoping it wouldn't. Probably not in a spot to win here, but we'll, I'll try my best. Bugger you. I can't be asked by any. Worst enemy known to man. These boils and see those. Maggot there as well. Good, good. We got rid of that. What the hell? We just killed everything there. See, this is why I'm saying that the pinhead shot is just kind of saving us right now. It's 
actually nearly dead. It's kind of hard to tell when the flesh wall is dying or not. Okay, there you go. It is dead. Oh, there's another one of you there. Hello. Do you want to get to a point where we can kill you easily? Thank you. Yeah, damn, some enemies are dying instantly as well, like before doing their death effects, which I'm not quite sure why that's happening. Okay, we are on one health now, so we'll see how Rotgut comes across, but I don't think it's going to be great. Okay, we at least got through Rotgut. Phase one. Phase two is a lot more sketchy. Yeah. That attack where they're all bouncing around is just Hail Mary. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you guys in the next one.